is Thursday. We are heading to the Continue on South Padre Island North National North. Seashore. Hopefully, I'll get to find some awesome shells. And we finally get to use our America the Beautiful Pass. Yeah. Our pass isn't on there. It's in Donnie's wallet, but I just... He said he had it. You said you had it. On this episode of Barton RVN, like Kathy said, we are going out to the National Seashore. So, I'm able to use my uh, America's the Beautiful Pass. I actually got it free. All you veterans go out there and uh, get it free. Uh, it's, a, it's a good pass to have. You get to visit all our uh, national parks. Uh, I believe military could get it also for free. And, you know, just check it out. And after that, we'll come right back uh, to the island. And we'll actually go to a couple of businesses that we thought were pretty good that are right here on the island. And you don't have to go too far away to go see them. In most of the earlier videos, I haven't been asking for subscriptions and rolling the videos that promote it. Now that I have a few under my belt, I really need your subscriptions, and that's what YouTube really values to get our channel monetized. If you have already subscribed, please share our videos on your social media platforms. And of course, it is always free to subscribe to our channel. Hello. Does this pass work here? Yeah, it sure does. You're good to go. Okay, thank, thank you. you. As you heard, the pass was good to go. I believe if you purchase a pass, it's $80. So all you military and veterans don't pass up on this free benefit. Now, I looked online and it says if you don't have a pass and you're paying, uh, it's $10 per vehicle for a one-day pass and $25 per vehicle for a seven-day pass. Now, uh, I sped up the video because from the first sign to the Malachite, I guess that's how you say it, Malachite Visitor Center and Beach is a 10-minute drive. But you can't drive onto the beach here, so you have to drive another mile to be able to drive onto the beach. Yeah, look how close it gets. 
This is the drive-on portion of the park, and on the map it's labeled Padre Island Turtle Hatching. There's a camping section called Malachite Campgrounds. We didn't cruise the camping section, but I did check the website. It's $14 a night, self-check-in kiosk. Must have the correct amount. Checks and credit cards are accepted. It looks like one side is pretty much a parking lot with a table. The other side, closer to the beach, has a small pavilion. There are no hookups, but there is a dump site and potable water. There are also flush toilets and cold water showers. On the other side is another campsite on the bay called Bird Island Basin Campgrounds. It's a little more primitive, just porta potties and cold showers. It's $8 a day. Both campgrounds had a half off senior discount and a half off access pass. I did check the website for America the Beautiful Pass and it did say some parks will give camping discounts and call to verify. Supermarket, a market, a grocery store. Uh, somebody's messing up our video. Hello. Hello. Hey, what you doing? We got you on video. Oh, what video? <laughs> okay, we found this uh, grocery store on the island. Uh, we thought we had to go all the way to. Um, Port A. We found one there too. It's not called Island Mart, but it's I think it's the same company, IGA. I like that one better, but it was an older store. Kathy likes this one better. It looks nice. This one to me it doesn't have any doesn't have a real good butcher shop and no seafood at all. To me that other one had more of a selection of meat and stuff. But uh probably for the like groceries and other stuff is about the same. And there's this uh Hard Knocks Bar over there. That seems pretty good. Maybe if we had more time, we'd check that out. Or if we were hard drinkers, I guess we'd check that out. <laughs> but I guess we don't do that that much. And this is only about maybe what? Ten miles from. Ten miles from where we're at. Ten miles from Goose Island. Mustang then, Island. Or, yeah, yeah, Mustang Island. Then there's a Dollar General over there too. A Domino's. And a Domino's. A nail salon I've nail been wanting salon. to go to. Okay, so that's it. Go it back. looks like this place is popping because everybody keeps stopping there. Uh, what is it? Oh, I don't know. Some little... You're going to drive by it? Yeah. Okay, we'll drive by that. Let me zoom it. Top it's a little stand. stand. 
I don't know what her... Maybe I could, I could zoom on this lady and see what she's putting in her mouth. Babe! We found this uh, little Ace Hardware uh, on the island going towards uh, the National Seashore. And it must be a very good store because look at Kathy. She's coming out with her happy walk in a bag. Okay, guys. Uh, so we found this uh, Ace Hardware. I just filmed it. Uh, it's on the island, but you take a, a left or the other way going towards the National Seashore. And uh, I found this weight I was looking for. I see the guys in Florida use this thing when they go like fishing on the coast, on the surf. Because I noticed when I was fishing, uh, my uh, my bait and stuff just got thrown around in the, the surf. And this Ace had everything in it uh, for uh, fishing and stuff. And I didn't see anything for RVs though, So, but it had everything else. That Consuela purses for the ladies. Oh yeah, Kathy said she found stuff for herself. Uh, Consuela purses. They had a lot of stuff for the holidays, Thanksgiving, Halloween, Christmas. I bought an ornament for my mom. Um, they had a lot of cute stuff. Candles. I loved it. Drinking glasses. Very nice. I bought me my little um, for my keys. So excited. Yeah, this is a. Uh pretty good one uh, it was uh, kind of high priced in there but if you just don't want to drive all the way back to uh, I guess Flower Bluff mm -hmm. that'd be the closest HEB and Walmart which would be another maybe 10 miles from mm -hmm. here uh, if you just want to if you don't mind spending a little extra money uh, this place is okay spend a little extra to keep these little places in business yeah. so that's what we like to do okay that's it peace cut we decided to eat out for lunch and found this pizzeria slash bar. It's called Padre's Pizza. I'll leave the info in the video description. We thought it was going to take a while for our pizza, so we ordered some drinks. I had a Noasis Hefe beer on tap and Kathy had a Cupcake Moscato. The beer is local from Noasis Brewing Company and they actually have a brewery slash barbecue place you could go to in Corpus Christi. We will definitely check that place out in the future. Padre Pizza is located at 14493 South Padre Island Drive. And Noasis Brewing Company is located at 401 South Water Street in Corpus Christi. Okay, we got our Padre Pizza on the island. Uh, this is how the outside looks. Uh, there's actually a bar in there. That's what I was surprised. Uh, so we uh, got in there and uh, I saw the bar and I tried a Noasis uh, beer Hefe. Hefe. and uh tastes okay uh and they said they got a barbecue place in corpus and so we we're and kathy got uh what moscato moscato cupcake brand because we thought it was going to take a while but it only took five minutes and boom this came out very good looking so we pizza. sat there for another five minutes drinking our uh, alcohol got a little tipsy no, I, did, I didn't drink uh, that much alcohol. We actually waited an extra 30 minutes before I started driving, so it's all good. <laughs> this is our last full day on the island, and I decided I'd give the jetty a try. The jetties at Mustang Island are just a bunch of rocks piled up. There isn't a walkway in the middle like most jetties, so you have to be very careful walking on it. Kathy went into town to get her toes done, so I was out here till almost sundown. Like I said, Nobody was really catching anything. I did see a lot of bait fish around the jetties, and one person caught a bonito, which he then threw back in. So I'm thinking it's just not the right week and place to be fishing. Hopefully I'll get one more chance this year to come back out here and try my luck. Oh, this is Ghost Rider requesting a flyby. Negative Ghost Rider, the pattern is full. In an earlier video, I told you there's going to be another pelican flyby, and there they go. Kathy comes back from the nail salon and it looks like somebody missed me.